I'm looking at force of interest and this is the topic I guess in probably CD1 exam so there are two things here that I want to look at uh, uh, the first is payment stream which uh, again flows out and the other is discount rate which is again uh, changing with time so you 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 basically have two things that are going on and on something like uh, suppose you build uh, an instrument which says that as the interest rate increases I am going to give you more money so interest rate is increasing so this would be an instantaneous interest rate which is defined at each point a continuous uh, number and this is your cash flow stream which is again defined at each each uh, time and, and, and since the numbers are continuous so you have those equations deciding them if you look closely at the equation we have something like exponential and and then something in the bracket so when you are at uh, at some point in time you have this interest rate that that will get stuck to you so you you are looking at uh, working with with this part first so if you closely observe here it it's first taking out the interest rate it's keeping the payment schedule fixed now uh, one thing that you should note here is that both of them are actually a, a function of time so interest rate is also a function of time the payment stream is also a function of time if you stop at some time in the future you have to integrate to find out which value did you reach and uh, you have to sum that up to find out the total money that you are going to get so i guess that is the reason why uh, in the first step you are going to uh, keep this uh, thing now when you and, and this seems like a standard formula where you have exponential uh, a to t d uh, ds uh, uh, sorry delta a function of s and a ds and this is uh, outside that that's dt so again we are doing the same thing here so uh, finding out first the interest rate that is reached here so my guess is that this should be the interest rate i think that is right because this 0.1t and 0.4 is the interest rate so you are first uh, integrating this part once you are done with the integration of this part uh, next step you are taking so if you see here uh, since when you have integrated this part and you have everything in dt so then you are integrating this big term now uh, integrating this term means that uh, first you will break this down so first you will break this down into two part and integrate uh, one by one uh, after doing this and probably you have got uh, uh, between uh, the time period of 0 to 5 so you again used uh, 0 and uh, 5 here probably I'll, I'll just confirm that in some time uh, so uh, once you do that for now this this term is also a function of t now till this point everything is a f is in a function of t now once uh, we have uh, got an equation in this format uh, and and we are looking at integration of uh, something uh, uh, plus e to the power something and since we are using 5 0 so i i guess that since every term is uh, uh, is, is 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 going to cancel out so they have ignored things like this which uh, which might uh, go out but i'm not sure how they went from here to here uh, if, if i look closely here even if i ignore this okay so we are looking at this expression uh, this expression where i have my mouse and and if you are looking at this expression uh, you have to integrate this e to the power t square i think now i i guess is i guess that uh, probably they have taken e to the power this thing as a uh, as some other variable they have differentiated that and the difference what they get they have taken it into the other variable so now this is just a guess let me just check here so if i differentiate this so this would be fine to do 10 t and this would be 0.4 into t so this is basically uh, uh, differentiating by substitution so there is something called uh, uh, integration by substitution so if you want to integrate this thing say t to the power t square plus t so what you will do is that you will keep this as a variable and you can give that variable say suppose that variable is s so you will say that t square plus t is equal to s okay and 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 the thing that you will get outside here after differentiating that you can keep here so you will keep 2t and, and probably to 
settle this out you will have like uh, i guess t or e to the power s or something like that just just google this 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 seems like a substitution where you you can see that what they have actually done is that if you keep this as as a variable you differentiate that and you will get this part so that you can directly say that e, e to the power t e to the power x integration is e to the power x so they have tried to get that part and and it's a coinc it, it 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 was not a coincidence till this point but they have converted it in in such a way so they have broken this down in such a way such that they can uh, create a substitution while substitution uh, substituting i guess uh, you can get uh, some ex uh, exponential integration with substitution where you will get uh, so you have to uh, look at two terms here which is integration by substitution and chain rule so i guess these two should help you